thank you for coming. Well, welcome again. Thank you. Uh, me presenting, I'm um, Major Dr. Jean Paul Shumbusho. I'm the head of medical services in the Rwanda Security Forces in Cabo Delgado, province of Mozambique. So this is our medical headquarters, and it is a field hospital. It is the upper level of our medical services. It is a level two hospital. Uh, we have been together yesterday in the remote areas where we were treating a, a habit, local habitant. So uh, among those we said is that when we have a, a patient with like advanced disease, someone who needs surgery, who needs to be admitted, who needs extra care, those ones we bring from there, we bring them here. So this is where we can have enough materials for surgery, for uh, uh, hospitalization, and uh, adequate uh, medical uh, follow-up. So we, uh, this is the starting of our hospital. It's a reception desk. Uh, you can see when we have uh, one patient who came from Olombi to seek for medical care today. What I can say, we treat, uh, first of all, our force, uh, uh, Rwandan security forces, uh, personnel, we treat uh, local uh, forces, uh, FADEM and police. We treat local habitants, civilians, and even other people who are doing different jobs in, the, in this area, like humanitarian personnel and so on. So you're welcome. So once you come here, we have a, a consultation room. If there is a, a treatable disease, which is treated as an outpatient, he treats you, he gives you drugs, and you can immediately go out and you will come back for follow-up. If it is a big disease or a disease that needs further investigations or plan, now that's why how, when he, a patient, she or he lives from here to the uh, consultation of a specialist here. So today there is a CIP, Dr. Isaac. So here is where we, we do a, a, an advanced physical examination of a patient. We can perform uh, outpatient uh, investigations like uh, you see a portable ultrasound here. We can do some uh, blood tests, uh, rapid ones. We can perform all different kinds of eye, ears, and throat uh, examinations. So you can also be treated here as an outpatient, but if you need further also investigation or further care, now it's when we admit, then we continue into hospitalization. Uh, among the investigation I was saying, we have a laboratory here. <coughs> there is a second definite Alex. So we have uh, all the equip medical equipment and machines ready to perform the basics uh, of investigation. That include a uh, blood test, uh, this, uh, they include all uh, different kinds of investigations, spit terms, stool, and urine, and so on, which can help us to treat any of the diseases available uh, in our setting. So it is not only the laboratory, but also, as you know, we are in the area of um, a, it's a, a battlefield area. We can't live without like, a store of blood. Uh, this is it's an example of blood. We, we, keep, we take this from Rwanda and then we keep them here so that you can distribute uh, in any local health facility that need this blood. But also for us, we use it uh, during surgery when needed. So that means we have also a, the central pharmacy or the central stock is no, here. Uh, you can see all the drugs we are using, equipment and so on from uh, Kigali, they just come from here. And then it's where we, we dispatch them. We do lists, as you see, including all the medications we have, their, uh, their expression date, and their, uh, their quantity, so that we can distribute from here to our different uh, deployment of our forces. It is even where we can um, see if we can help any, if there is any shortage in local uh, health facilities. Uh, we have a sterilization room as a medical team that does surgery. There is a scientist here. So this is a permanent staff who is always here. 
uh, is the one in charge of these surgical materials. We have uh, this machine uh, that sterilizes those materials so that we cannot be a, a, have a shortage. So we can perform as many as the uh, surgery we can here. So these are enough uh, to perform any surgery here according to what the condition is found on the ground. So this is our theater where we can perform all different kind of surgeries uh, uh, which are available or uh, uh, need to be performed in this area. So we are equipped enough to provide adequate and standardized uh, surgical uh, services. <coughs> so this is the hospitalization room for civilians that I have been telling you. Uh, as I said, when we were together in remote areas yesterday, we told them that when we have uh, surgical cases or patients that need extra care, a surgery and a follow-up, they are admitted here. So these are among the ones that we admitted. Uh, some have been uh, operated uh, on Monday, then others were operated today. They have a different kind of disease, uh, but which are surgical. <laughs> Thank you.